Welcome back to the next part of my 100% playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. As you can see, I've brought Arthur to Strawberry today. I thought it might be nice at the start of each episode this time to start off with, with some of these coach robberies that, that I kept neglecting because I want to get through them. It's really hot in London today, so I'm not planning on this episode being that long. It's excruciatingly hot in my, my room. I've got a fan blowing in the background. I'm hoping it's not going to disturb the, the volume and the, and the sound in the background etc hopefully i'll be able to filter it out if you can hear the fan if not i apologize so as it's not a long episode i'm not going to ramble on so let's get to it right yep. come on then arthur let's go in do a coach robbery when i arrived just now there was a, a guy wandering about with a uh, trying to find his dog and i'm really hoping that he's he's run away now so that i don't have to find the dog made a big enough mess around here who, who are you talking about I've done nothing around here. Right, let's go and see what uh, I can't remember the guy's name. Is it Hector? Hey there, come on over. I got something here that oh, might Hector. be of interest. What have you got? I shouldn't be doing this. Arthur's time, on his Hector? path to redemption. Oh, I shouldn't be seed timber. robbing coaches. Supposed to be a lot of guns. Might want to catch him off guard. Okay. Apple seed timber, timber, okay. Let's go see. Where is it? Uh, as always, the note doesn't go in my recents. Here we go. Uh, I can't read that. Railway bridge, north of apple seed timber. Oh, the guy's back. With his lost stock. Coach coming west, headed for apple seed, carrying wages. Expect a couple of guards. I'm going to have to ignore the guy with the lost dog, okay, I'm afraid. Oh. I'm really sorry. I know it's awful having a lost dog. But I've got things to do. Right, where are we going? Right, I think we're coming up to where we're supposed to be. I've got a feeling this is going to be a big one. Uh, but we'll go with the Litchfield. Oh, here it comes. Right, I'm I'm just gonna go for it. Oh oh Holy Is that all of them? Oh well that wasn't too bad. Oh no, there's another one! Yeah, yeah. Yep. You're as good as buried, cocksucker. Who said that? Really, really, really. I don't think so. Right, how many have I got? How much have I got this time? It's going to be a big one. 110. It's getting better. I knew there was a reason why I was going to try and do these. But I don't get any bad honour for doing it, so... You know. Why not? Oh dear, lots of blood. Sorry about that. Sorry. Oh god, it's, is that someone's leg? I'm done. What? Oh, are we near the um, the serial killer's spot? <laughs> I think we might be. Yeah, I've already picked up that clue. <laughs> I don't know why I'm looting. I don't need to loot. You just have to, don't you? You just have to. Hey, boy. Right, okay, so I'm delay. I, I think I've delayed it long enough. And <laughs> I just don't want to be sorry along. Uh, I, I'm needed in Wapiti, so I'm going to head to Wapiti without the mask. 
Hopefully, um, everything will be fine, and I will see you there. Right, I've arrived in repeating. We've had a bit of an outfit change because I realised that Arthur's been wearing that uh, the orange top for quite a well. while, so it's probably filthy dirty and he need needed to change. Right, so I ne I'm needed by Captain Monroe. Mr. Morgan. Oh, he's surrounded by chickens. Hello. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Rainsfall thinks so. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying Honor to find amongst medications. Thieves. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Yeah, Arthur's, okay. Arthur's got such high I think morals. I know a spot where we should be able he to knows what's what's Same right. Way, Captain. He's he's known it all the time. So this Colonel Favors, he you knows you're up here helping these people. Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. If he can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict, especially with Eagle Flies now imprisoned at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Fall and Colonel Favors. I understand. Oh, there's the bridge. So I should drop the wagon back at the Let reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. I don't know huge amounts about American history. I'm quite ignorant in that respect, but I'm guessing that these these stories that that Red Dead are trying to portray, there is some sort of element of that they they come from somewhere that these events sort of did actually take place in in a, maybe in a different format in a different way. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here.
How far are we going up? Where, oh, up here? Okay, here. Easy. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. Mm -hmm. There. I very Think much doubt the they would listen right. to him. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Now, all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. <laughs> Where's my horse? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's go get the medicine. Slow right, where, where's the wagon? Down there. I thought that was a moose then. I was like, oh my god. Why have they made a moose appear in the middle of a mission? Okay, uh, right, we need to be discreet. Oh God, this is, uh, I'm gonna pull alongside it and jump, hopefully. Yes! Did they notice Come me? Come on, search, quick. I can't believe they don't even notice. <laughs> Hello? Jump! Let's go. So, I do remember trying this one. And you have to get back to Captain Monroe as quickly as possible. I probably won't. <laughs> I will probably end up falling on my ass. Fingers crossed I don't. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. There is no... No rocks in the road. Nothing. Oh god, there's a bridge. There's a bridge. There's a bridge. We're fine. We're fine. Right, where's where's Captain Monroe? Where is he? Good God, can we walk fast, man? Can we walk fast? All right. Oh my God. Captain Monroe oh, made it. I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful! That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It uh, it didn't go too bad. It went fine. Oh, I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging up, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Arthur just looks so painfully thin now. I didn't make it. Uh, you have to be even quicker than that, look. I was so quick, yet yeah, not quick enough. He looks so thin now. I might just wander around with Petey, actually. I don't know whether I've really uh, explored this area that much. So these are... Uh, are they army? Or are they... Native American, I can't see under the hat. I'm not going to steal some coffee. What's over here? 
A beer bottle. Well, I can have a beer, probably. They won't mind if I take a beer. Arthur needs some uh, refreshment. Isn't this uh, a Rain's Falls tent? I think it is. Hello? Hello? I can't get in. What's that? Classic oat cakes. I do need some. Shall I steal some? Why can't I get them now? There we go. Nothing to see here. Can I get in here? If What's Eagle this? Flies says he is honourable, we will treat him with honour. Okay. Are you talking about me? Hey, yo. Hello again. Yo, I'm Enoki. How are you folks getting on here? Hmm. They don't really talk much, do they? Hello. Ah, hello. Hello, mister. Hello. Hello. We're just trying to get in your hut. You all right there, friend? Okay. Yeah, they're not really uh, into conversation. <laughs> Okay, right, let's, uh, let me look at the map. What's going on in the map? Where am I needed now in the world? Okay, Trelawney would like to speak to me. So, well, that, that's helpful because I want to go back to camp anyway. What is the, what is it? The fine art of conversation. Okay. Right, so let's, I am going to actually ride back uh, to camp just to see if anything interesting happens along the way if it does you'll see it if it doesn't i'll see you back at camp so i'm just riding past um where we were in the last episode uh trying to get the what was it the chinoopy something like that back so i'm just gonna have a little snoop around their camp I very much doubt there's much in here. But oh, some jewellery and some arrows. The obviously I didn't get a chance last time to loot anything. So if they just literally just abandon this camp now and it's just here. They've even got like a. I need to shave. Ooh. Clearly, I can't use it. That's annoying. I wish they would make make it so you could use things like that. Doesn't look like there's much else. I found an apple though. Oh no, it's a peach. It's a peach. Uh, no, I don't really want Okay, not much. Back on the way. Hope you had a good old time while I'm Okay, so I am back at camp. I'm just gonna hit a horse and have a wander around because uh I meant to do it earlier but uh, I completely forgot let's see what's been happening since I've been gone let's go for a better day oh fine morning oh I missed that what was that all about god damn the lie yeah. you I wish they would leave it just a little bit and wait for me to catch up. Hey. Where's John? Oh, this is... Hey, brother. How did it come to this? I don't have a short answer to that. Morning. Here we are. Another day. You can tell How me what that was all about? Okay. 
You. You yeah. don't look so good. I'm fine. I'll be fine. Just worry about you. Good morning. Good morning, Arthur. Why are you doing all this stuff behind Dutch's back, Arthur? Why? It ain't like that. Oh, so it's true. You're undermining us all. Just when it matters the most. Who said that? Micah? Dutch? Doesn't matter who said it, it's true. Come on, man. Right now, be strong. Be together. <clears throat> I'm trying. Try harder. Huh. So, but where? I don't understand where Dutch and Micah go. Well, I can't see much happening in camp. No idea where Dutch is. Or oh, Micah, so. Hi. Let's speak to Trelawney and see what Trelawney's got to say. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh. Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. I don't understand why he was still there, anyway. He'd run off back to his wife in Sandy. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Oh, Morgan. Rainsful. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? We got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got I've saved Of course your life. he will, Charles. Do it for me. <laughs> Sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. How you holding up? Time to go, boy. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army. Yeah, just a few, Arthur. Just a few. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince oh, Evil Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. Be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. 
He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. We ran over it. A cougar that I killed earlier. <laughs> I wonder what it was. up ahead. Hello. Whoa! We chasha kill it now. Kula with Yampi. Hilpo. Unyapi Ktelo. This way. Oh, we're back at the camp that I just raided. But looks it, I think. Oh, we're parking Whoa. up here. Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Uh, <clears throat> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking oh, peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. Oh, so no. No, 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 no. Very... <coughs> you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said... Are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains fall. Chief Rains. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. That's always Arthur's response. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I don't need help. No, I'll be fine. No. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Careful, Arthur. Because he thinks it's right. Get spotted. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. I Why bet that went on care all about the time. The in reality, because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him: high tail favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. 
Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross <laughs> insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. Joe, you disrupted we need to do a something. negotiation. Oh, shit. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man. But shall. Back away to your horse. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Arthur, let's go. I'm going, I'm going. Don't be dumb. Let's go. Uh, I can't I see where I'm going. Let's go. Let's go. Oh god. Where are they? You okay, boy? Yep. We got some on our tail. I did that. Um, of course. <laughs> Look out! They're still coming. Yeah. Ben, hold your fire. God, no one's touching my horse. Trees. We're penned in. Go. Find some cover. Protect Monroe. Come on. Go to hell. Come on. Can you shoot? I can't. They're trying to kill you. I swore it over. Where are they? Behind, behind. Uh. Almost got me. What's up? Get in here. Find a love then for the vap. Oh god, oh god, I need to hide. Uh. I need to hide. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not getting gold for this one. <laughs> this is really tricky, this bit. Can you shoot? I, can't I was trying to go to them, but clearly that was you. not the right idea. I swore it Die. Right, so now behind. And this is where they got me last time, so I'm gonna hide behind a tree. This is better. This is better. Find a love for the valley. Four of them. Just home. Oh, blimey, it's more. Oh, we got him. Okay. I think we're finally in the clear. 
Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. We'll take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Train conveniently here. Easy. <coughs> Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. <laughs> Meet me at the reservation. Avoid Guam. <laughs> Oh, God. Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <coughs> What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I'm getting tearful already because I know what's coming. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. That weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love She's and beauty. so lovely. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! <clears throat> I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye! Sister. Oh, hang on. Oh. 
I'm not crying, you're crying. It's been so long since since I've actually done that and seen that scene. I knew it was coming, yeah. Okay, fella. I couldn't avoid it. Okay, what have we got now? Hang on, oh, sort myself out. Okay. All right. We have got one mission only, which is back at Wapiti again. Oh, okay. Yeah, we we need to go and see Charles back at Wapiti. Okay, I'm gonna camp up, and it's getting a bit dark. Yeah. So we'll we'll fast travel to Wapiti. Easy, and in the meantime, I'll sort out my face. <laughs> right, so I have sorted myself out. I've reapplied makeup, and I've arrived in Wapiti. So let's go and find out what Charles needs. Where is he? There he is. How cool are? Arthur. <laughs> Hello, Charles. With you. you just what bashed me. You? Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's a... Uh, he, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes. yes. Oh, we're going to speak to Rainsaw again. Okay. He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Hello? Come in. <clears throat> Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. <clears throat> he's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's mean. How is your father? He's dead a long time. I lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No. No, if definitely Any chance not. we had. Your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the army are worse than any point in the last five years. It was Dutch's I'm fault sure that Eagle Flies got well. arrested. But matters are more complex than he understands. <laughs> Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. I need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. Charles always knows the way. Lead the way, Charles. So, so pretty around this area. Fortune. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, 
There's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. If we start making a lot of noise, he'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river, in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just continuously this wouldn't have coughing. happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw Eagle Flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. Pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's Fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's Fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch, I gotta try. I own that at least. Nope. I think it's a losing battle, Arthur. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... Saw a doctor. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but it's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? More vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. He's so wise, Charles. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. Just don't understand why someone like Charles would be. The rain's fall told me still there was sticking some retaliation around. after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't going to be nice. There it is. Should change Arthur, but I don't know whether I'm going to have time. Oh, that's not. Oh, God. Let me find the right one. There we go. Don't want him getting cold. All right. This should be fun. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. I guess this is it. I guess it is. Let's keep quiet. I'm trying to find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. There's two guards out front. If you take one... Take the other. Nice and quiet. Oh, I know. It's awful. Got him.
Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get around the back. Stay close to the wall. Come stay in close, Charles. There's a guard right above us. Wait, where's the guard? Oh. Hello. He's moving. Come on. Wicky sneaky. Get the easy one. Okay, <laughs> come on. Around the back. Can I have my arrow back? This is the spot. Where's my arrows? <gasps> wait, wait. Wait a minute, I see something glistening. Free hat. Military mounty hat. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put my old one back on though. Okay, I've got the free hat. It's all good. I've got the free hat. Right. Careful of that. There's a guard coming. I got this, Charles. Got this. Good. Got him. Let's move. Let's go, Charles. This way. Yep. I'm here. Another one up ahead. Where? Okay, got him, got him. Oh, oh! Now keep moving. I got him, Charles. It's another one. Another two ahead. I've got these two. One each. Same as before. There's my arrow. Come on. Wait. What was that, Charles? Make sure the tower's clear. There's a dude over there. It's okay. Let's go. There's a guard out front. You take him. I'll cover back there. Okay. What? Uh, take the lead. I've got this one. Oh, I can't see it. I can't see it. Cut. Should be just down this way. Which way? Down here. Okay. Oh, get down, get down, get down. Damn it. There's more out front. Go up the tower and see if you can cause a distraction. He's quite Bossy today. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. Okay. Go to the walkway. There's a... There's a guy here. The guy is not there anymore. Silently shoot the lantern. Oh. Got it! We got a fire near the ammo! 
Let's go! Let's Arthur, go! Come on! Get down here! I'm coming, Charles. I'm coming. I can't climb down ladders that quick. Sounds like just in here. It's me! Oh, Moonshine. Hello. You have to get me out of here. We're gonna get you out. I'll check the table, Arthur. You search the body. I've got, I've got this. I can search bodies. I'm good at them. Jail cell keys. Nice. Open the door. Come on. <clears throat> Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... <laughs> not quite. Of not. You okay? Oh, dear. Yeah. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> okay, we're over to Damn the it. Litchfield now. We'll have to shoot our way out. This is I, I can't up. see where the friggin' hell they are. Let me take some of that. Gonna see you in here. You're dead. You're dead. There's another one there. Exposing myself quite so much. There's more up there. More up there. Look out. Some You're up there. dead. Get some more of this. Any more? Any more? Any more for anymore? He's dead. You're a dead man now. Watch any more? More up ahead. I want all three of them. Blast you! Come this way. I remember seeing a hole in one of the walls when they brought me in. Where? Down. They must have fixed it. Well, every time I come here, yeah, we can't get in here. How? Destroy the wall. What about that cannon? Okay. I've got it. Come on. I'm on it, Charles. Don't panic. This thing. Uh. We had practicing warm. Let's go! Right, I'm gonna need some of that. Here, come on! And. On. Just in case. This way, come on! I hit some. That was a bit sneaky, he didn't spot him down there. Yep. I put a bullet straight through your eye. Shit. No, wrong. We wrong. got company behind us. More of them coming from the road on the left. Charles, ride faster. 
The canoes are close. They're right on us, Arthur. Do something. Uh, I'm trying. I'll get Eagle Flies to the canoes. Quick, ah, get in the other canoe. Let's go, Arthur. Get in here. Hang on. Oh, Hang you, on. Friend. Right. I'm getting in the canoe. I'm getting in the canoe. Well, we made it this far. Let's get out of here. They'll pay for this. They'll wish they killed me when they had a chance. Let's just get you to safety first. Man. It's like Dutch said. They only have power when you allow Come at me! Well, Dutch says a lot of things. Careful! The current's strong! Got him. I've got him. You're done for. No, I'm not. Charles, I'm coming. I'm coming. Ah, uh, there goes my hat. This is some swell. The last thing we need is one of us going in. Believe me. I'm getting I'm getting that. I'm getting there. I'm fine. Give me a gun. I can help. Just keep your head down. Look at oh, look at the pretty lights up there. Look like fireworks. They won't give up easily. Stay ready. Up against it. I'm sorry, but just say God. We need to get as far away from the fort as possible. Look right! Where is my horse? This horse! Got you. You're ready for more trouble up ahead. You're dead. Oh, I know where we are. This is, this is where we did the very first bounce. Let's see if we can find somewhere ahead. I to think. Pull in. Well, maybe not. Maybe it, well, maybe we're not that close. So maybe I'm just ah, making no, things up. Two more on the left. Don't kill their horses. We can use them to ride out of here. I don't see any more of them. Let's get over to the shore. We made it. <laughs> lost our hat, but we made it. I think we lost them. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father, even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front, let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. Oh. oh dear. Yeah. What an utter, utter mess. And finally I got a gold <laughs> on one one of these. These are getting harder to get gold on. Oh. The only thing I fear, I remember when I first did this a long, 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 long time ago, 
my horse dive um, in the middle of in that last bit. And so I was really paranoid just then about whether my horse was going to make it. But Arthur's not doing well, is he? Look at him. He's literally just hanging on because he has to. He has no choice but to stay and fight. But you have to kind of start wondering when the penny is going to drop and he is going to realise that Dutch is ruining absolutely everything. He's ruined, you know, the, the he's caused so much trouble with the army and, and the Nat Native Americans and it's, he doesn't care. Dutch is a narcissist, basically. So, um, I've got a feeling it's probably, oh, I can't even look at anything now, that this is probably um, one of the very last uh, missions in this chapter. We've got a big D that's come up now, and a big D can only mean one thing. And, and that means we're, it's, a, it's a major story mission that will lead us probably out of the chapter. Let me just check to see what it is, see if I can remember what it is. Oh, we were near the, with the, um, where we did the bounty. We are near Valentine. I didn't realise how close we were. Um, so what is this one? My last boy. Yeah, I think we've only got a handful now, if that. So I will leave it here as an episode because I think next week is going to be the big one uh, which I will again probably try and avoid but I'm not going to I'm excited and scared that we've finally reached this point um, where we're going to probably end chapter 6 next week thank you so much for tuning in and fingers crossed uh, the weather permits me to uh, record next week and get this uh, the last bit of chapter six done for next week all right i'll see you then bye